Hey, Scott Brown team, the Brown team. How are you guys doing today? 8.30 Friday morning at the beautiful cliffs at Walnut Cove. I mean, isn't this place gorgeous? I knew y'all would like it. Glad you're here. Listen, I wanted to come at you live here from Keller Williams Western Upstate in Anderson, South Carolina. Kind of near Clemson University. You guys have heard of Clemson. Yeah, whatever. You know, I got my Gamecock shirt on because I wanted to tell you, go Gamecocks play Georgia this week. So listen, today I'm gonna to talk to you about lead generation and profit share, okay? Because if you don't have lead generation and you can't make money and sell houses, there's no profit share, okay? So here we go. You guys may have seen this. Three hours a day of lead gen. Well, here's what we want you to do during those three hours. Preferably eight o'clock to 8.30 in the morning, you're, that's your planning session. So for 30 minutes, you're gonna plan what you're gonna do for the next hour during this session, and this may be 8.30 to 10. That's where you're gonna actually do the activity. So you plan, do, and then document. And document might be 10 to 11, okay? So three hours, eight to 11. In the planning phase here, that's where you're gonna get a list of people to call. Go to Facebook, LinkedIn, connect with people. Go back and look at who commented on your post or who liked your post. Make sure your LinkedIn account is at 100% profile, five-star profile, okay? Go there and connect with people. Find their numbers or their email and go ahead and write their numbers down so you can call them. So then, during the do stage, do the activity, you're gonna call those 20 people or 25 people. Okay, then you document what you did during that time. So <clears throat> is all this making sense? That is lead generation 101. So plan what you want to do during that time. I'm actually going to send Scott a list here of things you can do during your lead generation activities. Got that, Darlene? I've got the wonderful Darlene mm -hmm. on the camera right now. Okay, so that's lead generation. Next is profit share. You guys have all heard of profit share. I wanna make sure you understand how the money flows back to you, okay? So referring agents to Keller Williams is how we get profit share, okay? And then they have to have a closing at Keller Williams. So number one, refer to your team leader, Jeff Stewart, and uh, just ask somebody, hey, at least let Jeff you do a needs analysis with you. Tell you, um, <clears throat> you know, he won't tell you a lot about Keller Williams. He wants to get to know you first and then he can find a plan for you at Keller Williams, okay? So once you get somebody that you refer to Jeff and they join Keller Williams, here's what happens. First of all, we do a profit and loss statement every month. So right now, Ellen has uh, finished the profit and loss statement and transmitted for October. And this is about what you guys did in October, okay? 200,000 is your company dollar, okay? That's the 30% that the agents pay, right? 30% until you're capped. Once you're capped, you don't pay anything. But we get that 30% until you cap. In October was around $200,000. The 85,000 is your expenses. And all these expenses are approved. Uh, Scott Brown, you've been on the ALC, you've been on the financial committee. You can see where every dollar of this goes. Now that South Asheville's open, your expenses are going to be about $12,000 less every month. You know that. So nothing can be run through the company that is not a business related expense. So Sherry Puffer, Jim Buff, they can't run their car payment through there or anything. 85,000 is the average expense per month. Okay. So we're left with 115 in profit. That's your profit. Okay. So we then split the profit almost 50, 50. 52% goes to the owners, 48% goes to the agents. So the owners this month made almost $60,000. That's split among those four owners. If Sherry owns 10%, she's gonna get a check for $5,980, okay? We don't care about the owners. Here's what we care about. How do you get part of this 55,200, right? <clears throat> so here's what happens. The agent, let's say Joe, you refer Joe to Keller Williams, okay? 
Joe comes in, in his first month, he closes $450,000 in real estate. One house, five houses, whatever. He gets a 3% commission. The total is $13,500 in commissions. We take our 30%, okay? 30% of that's about $4,000. We look at what percentage Joe paid in. So, what percentage Joe paid of this 200,000? Well, 1% is $2,000, so Joe paid exactly 2%, okay, of our company dollar. So we, we're gonna give back 2% of this 55,000 is gonna be attributed to these, these closings. So you're not getting part of Joe's commission, you're getting part of the market center's profits, the owner's profits, okay, the owners are sharing that profit with you. So 2% of 55,200, that's 1104. So $1,104 is gonna be paid back to seven people, okay? So let's say that Joe, you refer to Joe, and uh, that was Carol Brown. So this is Carol. Carol Brown referred Joe. Carol's gonna get $552, because she gets 50%. She gets half. So that $552 is deposited into her bank account on the 21st of the next month, okay? Then of course, <clears throat> Scott, Scott is Carol's sponsor, and that may be reversed, but Scott's gonna get 10%, he gets $110. So together, they made $662 just by referring one person, and this is one month in a of a closing. So, you got Carol, Scott, um, their sponsor is Mark Ledbetter, then you got Mike Tavener, Beverly Tavener, um, and then two more people. So it's paid down to seven people. This is actually Mike Brody. Anyway, Carol and Scott are gonna get, because Carol referred Joe, she gets 50%. Scott's gonna get 10%. If Carol would have had this closing, of course Scott would have gotten the 50%, okay? So you guys like Wendy, if you referred Joe, Wendy, you'd get the $552 just for one month. And what are you going to do? You guys are going to call Joe and you say, hey, great job last month. Anything I can do to help you, let me know. If Joe calls you, you're going to answer the phone because you're his sponsor and you want to help him. Okay, does this make sense? Last thing. After three years, fully vested. That means you get profit share the rest of your life. So after three years fully vested, and you can will it, will it one time. So my kids, I have three kids. You may remember that. My profit share is going to go to them when I die. It goes into a corporation, which they will get the rest of their life. They don't get that money now because i got to feed them and clothe them and put them through college. Yeah, but eventually, they'll get some of that money. But that's how profit share works. All right, guys, listen. Have a great meeting. If you got any questions, call me and enjoy Walnut Cove. Uh, get some drinks later. Uh, my number is S10138. If you want to get a drink on my tab, that's fine. Scott, I'll bill you later. All right, y'all have a great day. I'll see you next time I'm in Asheville.